text is you know plan this could be for a startup plan or a takeover plan but you know looking at the plan administration record keeping so if it is a startup plan you know that we will uh, there's certain administrators that we work with that actually provide a plan document as a part of the process right um, others you know, other corporations may do a custom plan document with their attorney attorney uh, so we look at different administrators do a comparison of that similar to what you would do in a in a 401k rfp mm -hmm. uh, so looking at some some options for them to consider um, and then you know when we roll out the plan to the uh, the executives, then we get into our communication process. So this is where we feel like, you know, legacy shines and, and has a high level of touch that really becomes an extension of the human resource department. Uh, so it takes a lot of that burden off of HR, but, but promotes them and, and uh, the executives feel, you know, uh, the value that the corporation is putting forth. So, you know, in our communication process, we help uh, prepare the enrollment materials, uh, help um, prepare all the announcements for enrollment. Uh, we'll typically do, you know, two to three webinars, depending on the, the plan size. Um, so we'll have a 30 to 45 minute webinar where participants can learn about the plan, maybe hear a brief market update, be uh, available to ask any questions about the plan, how they can really get the most value out of it. Um, and then uh, other part of our communication process is employees who have in-service distributions, you know, as I've communicated before, we'll alert them of you have an upcoming taxable in-service distribution. You know, if you take no action, it'll be paid out to you as scheduled, um, you owe ordinary income taxes on it, or if you want to redefer and avoid the taxes, you know, here's the process to do so. Uh, so all those, uh, you know, during an enrollment phase, uh, we can email the executives about the reminder of uh, the deadline that's approaching on the enrollment period. Believe it or not, executives don't always, you know, see emails or, you know, <laughs> uh, hop in and, and get things done on the first day of enrollment. So a lot of times we're, we're chasing uh, the executives who have shared an interest in joining the plan, but haven't taken the action yet. So we, we can, you know, call them if the corporation gives us phone numbers. So as, as much as you want legacy to be involved, you know, we can, and we'll be, uh, uh, extension of HR in that communication process.